Good afternoon, everybody. This is the Planet Earth here. I am going to be teaching you how to get unlimited tethering from T-Mobile themselves at cheaper prices than $80. All right, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to need, one, T-Mobile's non-contracted service, postpaid. Um, two, you could get away with Metro PCS. You can do this with Metro PCS, too. Um, <clears throat> this is what you do. First, run a speed test. Alright, second, after you're running the speed test, what I'm going to tell you to do is I am going to need you to call 611, ask for retention, and ask for a better plan or you will cancel or switch providers. They will give you a better rate plan most of the time. If you've had T-Mobile more than a couple years, they will definitely give you a better rate plan. You do not have to pay uh, eighty dollars a month okay you don't have to pay eighty dollars a month now this is just uh... during the daytime during peak hours thirty five megabits down and about seven megabits up that's decent for now okay so here is what you're going to do alright so you need a desktop or laptop this usually does not work on other devices it may work for you in certain cases now i recorded a how to do unlimited t mobile video but i didn't do it specifically good enough for people to understand it so this I'm gonna be more specific and thorough but pay attention first you're gonna to go to the Play Store as I did in the last videos okay you're gonna to go to the Play Store alright so you're gonna download FoxFi and you're going to pay for it if you like it or not pay for FoxFi don't get it illegally support them because you don't know if they're not gonna be for too much longer so support FoxFi First of all, if you uh, click more, make sure you have, and just in case, if you have Sprint or AT&T, you can still tether through. If you have unlimited or 30 gigabytes of data, this doesn't go towards tether. I'm not sure how they work, but this is mainly for T-Mobile or Metro PCS. So, FoxFi, install it. Make sure it's installed. Once it's installed, you're good to go. Next thing you're going to do is FoxFi. This doesn't work on iPhones. I'm sorry. It does not work on iPhone. Because iPhones, uh, just it doesn't work because they don't support the product. So, if you have an iPhone, switch to an Android. If you really, really want unlimited tethering, USB tethering. This doesn't work for wireless tethering that I'm aware of. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to purchase the Fox 5 key. It's like 99 cents at max so purchase the, the the key next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the settings of your phone whether it be whatever and you're gonna go to about device hold on and you're gonna go to build number hold on let me just make sure it's not showing oh, okay here we go build number click 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 once the developer mode is turned on, you should see it in the settings here. Anywhere, is, there should be developer options. So you're going to go ahead and turn on USB debugging. You're going to get this message. Click OK. Let me see if I can erase. OK, that's it. Once you have that turned on, you're set that way. So go ahead and exit out. Uh, this cord is slightly damaged because I've used it so much. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down gonna go ahead and connect it to the cell phone this is a USB 3.0 cord now I'm gonna connect it to the laptop okay so now I've connected it it'll say connected as media device alright so the next thing you're gonna do the second you connect it is you're going to go ahead and click apps click FoxFi you're gonna click activate USB mode this will work on a desktop or a laptop I don't know how they activate Wi-Fi hotspot works. I don't. I haven't tested to see. Actually, I have, but it still detects it. So activate USB mode. Once you've activated USB mode, and you bought the full version, it will work on T-Mobile. But call in six one one and ask for retention. Tell them that you want to cancel the service and see if they could do anything. And you should be able to pay ten or twenty dollars less for the same service that you got. I love T-Mobile a lot, but the only thing I don't like about oh, and if you want to change from 4G, if you want to force 4G LTE um, on a Samsung phone, star pound two two six three pound. 
you can force it. On AT&T, you cannot force this. Um, if you want to click on GSM or WD WCDMA only, you can. But if you want to force LTE, just click LTE all. And use this to go back. Okay, so just exit that out. In the old days, it would reset the phone just by doing that. But once FoxFi is on, click activate USB mode. The second, the third or fourth thing that you're going to do here is you're going to go ahead, teen with huge boobs. Exactly. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to PDA net. Just type in PDA net. That's all you got to do. It'll PDA net dot co. This is work for 2015. Go ahead and download it. It'll take like five seconds to download on a connection. Go ahead and disconnect. I'll go ahead and uninstall it and reinstall it to show you how it works. I'm going to go ahead and eat, re eat, uh, release the Ethernet. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it to show you how to do this exactly. This will work on Windows 8, 7, um, 9, and uh, go ahead and click on connect PD8 after destination, but make sure the phone is connected to a good USB port and that the phone is already turned on USB mode for FoxFi. Make sure FoxFi is already on and you'll see that little symbol there. It'll be similar. The next thing you're going to do is click hide tether usage. Ignore that. Just click OK. Click finish. It'll say connect into your phone, you, and then you'll be connected. Almost 100% of the time this works. But when you first connect the phone, it'll, it'll ask in, in FoxFi, when you do connect it to the computer, there'll be a security screen that pops up. And it'll say, do you want to connect? Like It'll be a, like a lot of passwords, and, uh, a lot of numbers and letters, like a MAC address. Click always, or whatever pops up, and then click OK, or it won't connect properly. So what I'm saying is the security policies. I want to give you an example here. Accessibility, safety, security, reset. Um, they don't have the reset options. Trusted credentials. Whoa, what is all this? Huh. User. System. I have no idea. I can't even. Eh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Okay, now <clears throat> you'll see a message that says something about key, and just click OK, and 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 I always allow the computer to connect to it. It might only pop up once, so you got to be very careful on that one. All right. So after doing that, you'll be connected to the internet, or the interwebs, or whatever you want to call it. So now that you're connected to Google, you are actually tethering on Limitly. Also, if you're on T-Mobile, go ahead and push, um, let me just make sure the logs are clear. Okay, go ahead and push um, pound, W-E-B, pound, and call. USSD code is running, and it'll tell you, you have used 25.7 gigabytes from your unlimited plan. 0.61 megabytes of your allotted 50 megabytes for domestic data roaming as of 1-12-2015. Uh, 61 megabytes uh, allotted... F wait, I have used more megabytes of your allotted 50 for domestic data roaming. Hmm. I don't think that matters. No. No, it doesn't, because it's T-Mobile. That's how badass they are. But anyways, I've already used 25 gigabytes, just tethering, broadcasting, viewing YouTube videos while at the ocean. You know, that's not the point of the ocean, but that's what you do. Okay, so now that you've done that. Okay, let's say you're in a bad area, right? So our pound, 2263 pound. Let's say you're in a bad area and you only get 2G. So if you only get 2G, you can still tether, but it's going to be like a slow mother trucker. No joke. It'll connect, but it'll say Edge or 2G. It's very slow. Extremely slow. Um, so that's why you got to be in a big city. Because you're not going to get much speed on 2G. So let's just go back and we'll go back to back again. And then we'll just click automatic. No. First, what I do to this phone is I always click LTE, LTE all. And then I go back to automatic. 
there'll be no service, and there'll be service, and there'll be LTE, and then I just click automatic, it resets again, back to LTE. Okay, so we're back on LTE, now we're going to go ahead and do a T-Mobile speed test. This is why I love T-Mobile. You know, my plan comes with 5 gigabytes of Tether, and I'm not even paying $70 a month. T-Mobile USA. So now that we have connected, um, I usually do a speed test to San Francisco because the server has a 10 gigabit uplink. So we're going to get around 20 megabits per second through tethering. Ping time is going to be in the 60s to 70. Sometimes it's higher depending on the area. Um, most of the time I get speeds like this even during peak hours. It goes down and up. It fluctuates a little bit depending on the part of the day. But at night time I get around 75 to 100. Um, I don't really care. As long as the upload passes 2 megabits, that's all I care about. To be honest with you. So, with the upload, you're only going to see about 3, maybe, maybe you'll see 5 megabits per second on T-Mobile, but you got to remember it's it's hiding your, your usage, so you're going to get about 5 megabit upload max because that's the limit of the software. That is perfect, okay? This connection right here is faster than most DSL connections in remote areas of the country. Okay, so you have seen how to get unlimited data on your cell phone and how to get unlimited unlimited I can literally download 10,000 games right now T-Mobile does not care they really don't they don't care how much data you use and they don't slow me down but you have to have this one at least minimum remember I am also I'm actually doing this from uh, my home now think about this okay so this is T-Mobile which is a great company if you're in a big city um, the plans here. You can get a better plan if you've been with T-Mobile more than a half a year at least. If you've been there with half a year, just tell them you're not satisfied. You have unlimited 4G LTE data. This is the one you're gonna, this is the only one that really you'll be able to work with. Um, five gigabytes of unlimited talk, text, and data, but it slows down after five gigabytes of $70. Let me see if it slows down. Speed's reduced after five gigabytes, right, but it's still unlimited data. Um, but it's data stashed, so if you don't use the data, it goes over. But if you want unlimited, and, you know, T-Mobile is really kind to even offer it, because most cell phone <gasps> providers don't, while having a good LTE service in a good area of a big city, it's $80 a month plus taxes. You're looking at around $100 a month. You can save yourself this money. Call retention. Ask them to reduce your plan. Tell them if you can't find a better plan, you'll switch to Sprint or AT&T. Because they have like 30 gigabytes now, I mean, for about the same price. So they're almost unlimited in a way. But like I said, I've already used 25 gigabytes. And I haven't had a problem with T-Mobile except for drop calls. The only reason I get drop calls is because their network sucks here by the ocean. Other than that, though, the data is perfect. That's all I really, really care about. Wi-Fi calling is perfect. That's another plus about T-Mobile. But you need this plan right here. To get absolute unlimited tethering on your computer, you can play your games, you can do whatever you want, but call retention. When you dial 611, you know what, um, I'll do this an example in this video right now. So let me just 611 it. Just listen. This, this is just an example of how you should do it. Call during the daytime. How can I help you today? You can say anything. Sorry, I didn't understand that. Please tell me why you're calling. Christ, you stupid bitch. Are you serious? Okay. I didn't get that. Please enter. Are you serious? Are you serious? patient with the stupid automated system. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality and training purposes. Just just listen on. If you have to forward the video, go ahead and forward it a little bit. May be recorded for quality and training purposes. Your call is very 
very important to us. We'll be with you shortly. I talked with them for 40 minutes and I got the best rate plan yesterday. Okay, well, we're not going to wait that long. Sorry about that. All right, now, um, you have to have this plan if you have T-Mobile, but you might be locked into the $70 unlimited plan about four or five months ago. So you're lucky. So, but anyways, call retention and tell them you want to switch providers, and uh, you should be able to get on a cheaper plan like a $60 unlimited everything. I don't even pay for the data. I only pay for the cell phone service and the text, but I get unlimited data with this one and unlimited domestic uh, roaming wherever it is now if you roam too much then it'll be a problem usually but T-Mobile even then doesn't really cut you off so get that plan you have to have that plan if you have this plan it won't work if you have this plan it won't work and it definitely won't work with this plan but wait you see where it says unlimited data you can still tether unlimitedly if you use Foxfire, but it'd only be like 2G speed. But you can still technically, I guess you could tether. But it's unlimited data. It's just slow 2G data. It's, it's too slow. It's it, it should be at least 3G or 4G. Maybe at least 4G, right? You know? They should cap it out around maybe 500 kilobits a second. At least, just to help people. Um, And that's it. That's how you get unlimited tethering. Look, I am tethering. I mean, YouTube, YouTube, whatever, Facebook, you want to game, you want to you wanna play multiplayer games, boom, Facebook, bam, loading, done, boom, right on the cell phone, no Ethernet, no wireless, wired, well, USB tethered, but you get the idea. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this is, hope this has been the planet Earth here, thank you guys for watching, and hope to see you tethering, haha. <laughs>